All right, welcome everyone to the <clears throat> second video in the math review here. Um, for this video, we're going to continue about talk about some algebra concepts, right? And the previous video we talked about, um, you know, just general addition, subtractions, divisions, multiplications, logarithms, and other things like that, right? Um, in this video, we're going to talk a little bit more about functions. Okay. Right, <clears throat> so this title of the slide, right? What's in a name, right? Um, right, so in math, often we would be introduced to functions as something like what's here, right? F of x equals something, right? We would think of like f of x equals x squared, right? We'd say f of x is a function of x, right? And f of x is a function itself. Okay. Well, <clears throat> that is like uh, I don't say this right. In this class, we will talk about things being functions of other things and different variables and things like that, right? And and, and the point is is that um, what we call things doesn't matter. Okay. Right. In this class. X, some variable could be things like pressure, could be volume, could be temperature, could be enthalpy, could be entropy, could be all sorts of things, right? Could be um, chemical potentials we'll talk about, Gibbs free energy, right? There, there's a lot of different things we might think of as a variable. And we might think of multiple th these things as a variable for a given problem, okay? But in the same way, I can also think of these different things as functions of other variables, okay? And basically, for something to be a function of something else, it just has to have the form that's written here, like f of x equals x squared, right? f of x is a function of x, right? I could write that as saying y equals x squared, and I would say y is a function of x, and its functional form is y equals x squared, right? That, that equation, y equals x squared, tells me how y is a function of x, right? In chemistry, we learned the ideal gas law, right? P um, v equals nrt, or I can write p equals nrt over v, right? Well, this equation here, right, this is, th in this equation, according to math, this is saying p is a function of the number of moles, temperature, and volume. And its functional form is nrt divided by v, right? The, that how pressure depends on number of moles, temperature, and volume is given by this equation, and pressure could be considered a function of those different variables, right? But I could rewrite this equation as V equals NRT over P, and then say, well, V can be expressed as a function of number of moles, temperature, and pressure, right? It, what I'm calling a function of something else, right, doesn't matter, because as we learn in talking about the ideal gas law and things like that, right, pressure depends on volume, temperature, and number of moles. But the volume can depend on what the pressure is and the temperature and number of moles, right? All of these things are related to each other, right? Temperature depends on what the pressure and volume is of that gas, right? Every one of these things is related together, okay? And so all of them are kind of variables, if you will, in the equation. But I can write any of these sort of variables as a function of the other variables if I wanted to, as long as I write the equation in this form of like P equals other stuff, right? V equals other stuff, right? That gives me then something as a function of another set of variables. Okay, right? <clears throat> and so again, right, we might think of a function uh, as being like f of x equals x minus three plus eight x squared, right? That's a function of x, or you could say y here is a function of x, right? You'd say this is like y of x, right? y is a function of x and has this functional form, okay? But again, these are just letters that are used by the math department. Here, we're gonna use other letters, right? Other random sets of letters from the alphabet, right? We could use anything. We could call things cats and dogs and pigs and mice and whatever, right? We, whatever we want to call things, it doesn't matter, right? Saying something is x, something is y, something is f of x, something is z, right? Those labels, are just dummy labels, right? They're just sort of labels to keep track of what's going on, right? With those variables, they're, they're actual names, they're actual symbols, right? That we write out and say are meaningless. 
Okay. Right. <clears throat> and so, right, a variable is something that changes, right? A constant doesn't change, a variable can change, right? A function is just is also something that changes, but for a function we know how it changes based on other variables and in a given equation. Okay? Right? And so if I have a set of variables that are related to each other through some equation, any of those variables can be a function of the other variables, right? As long as we know that equation and we write the equation in the appropriate form. Okay? So again, in our ideal gas law, right, as, as I talked about earlier, right, pressure, volume, number of moles, temperature, all variables, right? And I can express any of those things as a function of the others. Okay? So if I want to know how pressure change with temperature, right, I would say P equals NRT divided by V, right? And I'd say pressure is linearly dependent with temperature, right? Um, and this type of question of how does pressure depend on temperature is the same question as saying, how is pressure a function of temperature, okay? Or what is pressure as a function of temperature, right? The, these type of things, using that word function is just meaning like depends on, right? How does pressure depend on temperature? How is pressure a function of temperature? Right? Uh, it's the same kind of question, same type of thing, just using different names. Okay. <clears throat> and again, we can, I pick pressure with temperature, but I could use any of the other things I wanted to to talk about things being a function or depending on other things in this ideal gas law. Okay. And so <clears throat> we will be working with a bunch of different things that will consider work enthalpy, pressure, heat as variables and as functions and relationships with each other. And we'll use these terms, functions and variables and depends on this and depends on that, like throughout the course, right? And I hope you feel confident and comfortable as what we're trying to say, what we're trying to mean, right? This is just sort of a communication thing and sometimes a hiccup for people in sort of what does someone mean by that? And I'm hoping this helps clarify that a little bit, but if you ever confused about the language that's being used, always ask questions in class.